אוקיי, okay. ערב טוב. Uh, we will start פרשת השבוע, פרשת נוח, the second פרשה. We are holding 10 generations from Adam. Uh, generation of נוח, it's uh, many years after creation. The world is a different world, as we learned already last week. In the Torah, in the end of the parasha, the, the parasha ends that the world, all creation, crea- uh, were, were behaving badly. No one was innocent. Even animals um, did not kept uh, the rules. Uh, I don't know what is, uh, how, how we can understand that, actually, but... The world, I, I know one explanation that humans were so corrupt and so not behaving and uh, not keeping the, ru- the laws of family was totally ruined. And they also like, um, how you say, they, um, the animals got used to, to, to not to be with their own kind. Animals also. So it was very, very mixed world. It was, uh, the only way was the flood. Um, and the Torah, our parasha starts that God speaking to Noah. What God telling Noah? The end of all creations came to me. And I decided to wipe the world. And you should build an ark. And then God not only telling Noah to build ark. And we will talk a little bit about this subject. God going into the details. You should be, build ark. Um, 300 amot long. Meaning 150 meters long. Three floors. You should have a roof, but the roof will not be straight. The roof will be, um, I don't know how to call it. And yeah, but on the roof would be one ama, half a meter um, straight. And you should build the door of the ark in the side of the ark. And you should cover it. With, with special material that will block the water from inside and outside. Those are the details that God telling Noah, and then God telling Noah another detail. You should be the build, you should make it Sohar to the Teva. Sohar. Sohar is a word in Hebrew. What is the meaning of the word Sohar? Sohar, Tzadik Heiresh. Is very similar to the word Sohoraim. Sohoraim. What is Sohoraim? Afternoon. Afternoon. Or noon, maybe. Noon. Um, so Sohoraim in Hebrew, it's a, it's a light. The light that there is outside, it's special light. So when God telling Noah to build Sohar, to make a Sohar to the Teva, God telling Noah also to put a special light in the Teva. We will talk about it after. So, Noah building the ark. How long is taking Noah to build the ark? 120 years, exactly. I read before. The Rebbe talking about why it took Noah 120 years. And it's very interesting. The Rebbe learning that according to the literal explanation uh, words of the Torah, the Torah start, I will make um, a flood and you should be the ark. So Noah understood that he should build the ark until the flood. 
meaning it means that Noah understood why God telling me I will do the flood and you should build the ark. He, he may tell him in a different way. He may tell him, first of all, it's very interesting. Rashi asking a question. Why God troubled Noah to build this ark? This is the only way to escape. This is the natural way to escape water, to be in an ark. But God not, not need this. He should take Noah in his hand, put him on one cloud, and do the flood. Why, why Noah need to go to all this trouble? And the answer that Rashi gives is that Noah, by building the ark, telling all the people would be a flood. Because everybody asked Noah, why are you building this big boat? And Noah answered them, you know, God going to make a flood and you should do tshuva. And this is what uh, Rashi answered. This is the reason that God wanted Noah to build this building. So the Rebbe adding, as I said, on this idea that Probably Noah understood that they should build, first of all, he should be the only one building. Because God telling Noah, you should build. This is the words of the Torah. So it's like a mitzvah for Noah. God commanded Noah, you should build. Noah cannot rent people to do it for him. It's like to do lulav. Noah had mitzvah, as is the same as we have mitzvot, that we cannot uh, tell someone, you should do it for me. So Noah had mitzvah to build because God told them specially, Aselecha. So God wanted Noah to build it himself. And God put it in context that you should build it for the flood. So Noah understood, I have mitzvah to do it right now. I'm starting right now. When you should finish? By the flood. So he built it for 120 years. But if you think about it, for one person alone to build a boat, three stores with many rooms inside from wood and to build it by himself, 150 meters long with all the details, maybe 120 years. It's not so long for a person to do it alone. And, and when I think about it, maybe Noah was planting the trees. And he waited them to grow. Why? Because it's, he want to. He needed to be the only one involved. This is his mitzvah from the beginning until the end. Okay. So Noah building the ark for many, many years. One of the questions about the store of about the the the, the figure, Noah as a figure as a person, it's very interesting. It was the only righteous person in the generation. And from him, all world was created, a new world after the flood. And the question is, if he is so amazing person and God speaking to him personally and he saved the world, why he is not the first Jew? We know that Abraham is the first Jew. We always saying that Abraham is the first Jew. Abraham was 10 generations after Noah. They saw each other, but they lived in the same time in the end of the life of Noah. Noah, if I'm not mistaken, Abraham was 56 years old when Noah passed away. Or maybe less or maybe more. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's 56. But Abraham is the first Jew. Why Abraham is the first Jew? First Jew, it not means that all the generation, the grandsons of Abraham are Jewish. It's not, no. Ishmael is not Jewish. And Esav is not Jewish. So we do say that Abraham is the first Jew, but we don't say that all his grandsons is Jewish. So Noah can be the same way Jewish. Of course, we can answer because, you know, Noah had three kids 
and Shem was righteous, and Shem had the grandson that he was righteous. But we're not sure that all the chain generation between Noah and Abraham were good people. The father of Abraham was not righteous. He was not. Um, he was Terach. He served other gods. So if you say Noah was Jew, what is the connection between us and Noah? Many of the, the people between them were not righteous. We have a direct connection that everybody was Jew until Abraham. But this is, there is another answer. This is connected to what we talked about the ark. There is a major difference between Noah and Abraham. Noah was approached by God himself. God telling Noah, you know, the world is so corrupt, as you know, and I'm going to destroy the world. You should be the, build an ark. What Noah telling God? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> When God telling Abraham that he's going to destroy the city of Sodom, Abraham selling, saying, telling God not on why watch. He start arguing, start telling this and this and this. He had responsibility for the people. God, Abraham was a believer and he did not only believe, he taught, as the Rambam said, Thousands and thousands of people become believers through the work of Abraham and Sarah. They opened a special guest house in the desert in order to spread their world, their word. They were Jewish because they felt responsible. Noah, God telling Noah, I'm destroying all the world. And Noah told God, if you say so, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm here to serve. But Abraham felt responsibility. So we're not here to talk against Noah. <laughs> we're here to understand what, how generation works. Because the world is, under the, is, 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 is developed. And Abraham was in a time that it's a, it's a, it was a different world. And we're going to see, we're going to talk about another topic and we will see it. So the ark was a way that God um, uh, make it public, his, his, his plan that we're going to have a flood. How, how it may, he, he make it public. Noah starts building an ark. Okay. Um, uh, after 120 years, Noah was 600 years old. It was after the Shiva of Metushelach. Metushelach was one of the righteous people that were on earth, uh, actually. And he was, yeah, he was the oldest, uh, person we, until now, until now he was the oldest person that lived. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Yes, 969. And then the flood started. The flood started. It was a few, few degrees, few levels. It was, first of all, it was rain. After that, was uh, water came from earth itself. 150 days. It was like that. The rain was 40 days. And only the people in the ark were saved in general and then the water started going down until the mountains came i am noah when he felt that the ark standing on the mountain after 40 days he sent the raven the raven circled 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 and then came back so Noah sent the uh, dove. He, she came back and um, the dove came back and uh, Noah understood that the water is not uh, over. After a while, he sent her again. She came, uh, the dove came with 
Olive, um, how you say? Leaf, yeah, leaf. Okay, after one week, she, he sent the dove again, and the dove did not come back. And then, what Noach did, he, the Torah said that he took down the cover of the ark and waited for a few weeks, and then God told him to go out. And then he came out. Now, we can have a glimpse to the to interesting idea. Which cover? God did not told Noah to build a cover. We know many details that God told Noah to build. Three stairs, three floors, 150 meters, all the details, 50 I'm a high, many rooms, that saw how, which, which cover? The Torah said clearly that Tudnach took the cover. What is the answer? The answer is very simple. God did not tell Noah how, how to build ark, how to build a boat. Why? Because God told Noah to build a boat, he will build a boat. If there is there in a boat, in a boat, you need the uh, you need the uh, light. You need to, to you need to have a door. You need to have cover. You need to have I don't know many details. Uh, maybe windows. God do, don't need to tell him how to do it. All the details that God told Noah are special. I'm not sure about all of them. I don't know why. Don't know how. This is the truth. But we must say that the details that God told Noah were specially and, and specifically. Why is that? As we said, because, because God did not tell Noah, he don't need to tell Noah how to build boat. And he did not tell them. Even, for example, God telling Noah, you should put the door of the boat in the side. This is what God telling Noah. He did not tell them to build a door. Why? Because, you, you know, you're building a house. You know, they need to tell the, the architect, don't forget about the doors. Because you need doors. God did not tell Noah to put the door. He told them to put the door in the side. God did not tell Noah according to the simple explanation, to bring a light to the boat. Because, you know, we need light. Why God, what, everything that God told them is something special. Why God will tell many things, why the, well, the ark need to be special? Why the ark is something special? And the answer is, answer is also very simple. The ark was not only a boat. The ark was a place that it was like a para paradise. First of all, the, we need to understand a bit the flood. After the flood, going, uh, Noah going out, building, a, uh, first of all, building altar and sacrificing and telling God, thank you. And then the Torah said that God accepted the, the offering and promised that he will never do it again. How he promised? He telling him that from now all four, the seasons will stay, will be all seasons in the world and will be a day and night. Why God need to promise that the seasons will stay and will be day and night? So our sages telling us because of the time of the ark, of the flood, was no seasons, was no day and night. All the stars stopped working. It was a, 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 a crazy, it, if I'm not mistaken, even this year is not counted in the Jewish calendar. The year of Noah's Ark is not counted because it, the, the stars did not move. 
It was, uh, I can tell you, I can, I will tell you. I will, I, maybe I, I can, would tell you after. Um, yeah, it is what I, I, I remember. Maybe it's not, it's not true, but, um, one second. Here, the flood is uh, 2105 BCE. Um, it's 4126 years back. 4126. And after that, we should, <laughs> we should do the math to understand what the Jewish year it was. But it's not counted. If I, you know, that's what I remember. Okay. So, it's very interesting. It was like dark, no stars, nothing was there. So, what is the Ark? The Ark is a place that not only there is a living souls there. You know, how was place in 150 meters a place to all animals in the world? Cannot be. It cannot be. You put in two giraffes, seven giraffes, because it's kosher, and two elephants, two lions. We're talking about only the big animals. I'm not talking about all kinds of birds and all kinds of 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 uh, uh, bugs and 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 only animals and only the big and famous animals are are taking all 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 ark. It cannot be that everybody fit inside, all the animals. So we must say it was unnatural. The ark itself was a place of paradise, was there, was a, a different world. So in order, this is my, uh, uh, my understanding, in order that these blessings should be in this place, God told Noah the measurements exactly how to build it. You know, in order that the blessings of God would for, fulfilled, you need to have a not any vessel. Need to God giving you the vessel and you building it exactly as He said it, and then you have the blessings. You know, it's cannot it cannot be, and a human made this paradise world cannot be human made. It need be. And God's made. So God gave Noah all the details how to build it. But the important ones. Okay. We will go back to it after. Noah going as I said. And then God also give him blessings. That human will spread again. Control the world. And But he commanded human not to actually not to uh, make the animals suffer not to eat an uh, organ from a living animal it's connected to tsar ba lechaim not uh, the animals will not suffer and then we talked about this subject last year he uh, showed noach the sign of the uh, uh, rainbow told him that this sign would show that god is a uh, have mercy to the world, and even though there is a specific place that needs a destruction, God is not doing it. And what we talked last year was that rainbow is a natural thing. How come it was created 1,500 years after creation if it's a natural thing? And the point was that it was a natural thing, but rainbow coming from clouds that blocking, that uh, that opening, that allowing sun and rain going together. But before Noah, before the flood, the world, this world, in in heavens, were blocked, totally blocked. That's why in the world, in a natural way, was no rainbow. Because when there was rain, it was blocked. The world was blocked. It's like 
Why? Because as we said, the world is a process. From creation until the flood was such a big separation until Adam left paradise. Become a total separation between heaven and the world. That's why the world becomes so corrupt. After the purity of the flood become the allowance, the, 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 the natural thing of rainbow came. And that's why the generation, as I said before, the generation of Avraham was a different way. Avraham was able to connect the world with heavens much more than Noah. Because Noah was a total different generation, to total different time. It was a total separation between um, heaven and earth. And Abraham started the preparation to Matan Torah. The Matan Torah was the total connection between the world and creation and, and, and heaven. God went down to the Mount of Sinai. Moshe went up to the mountain. And then started uh, the old concept of Torah and mitzvot that it's connecting heaven and earth. Started in Matan Torah. And Abraham was the first one to begin this connection because he started explaining God in reason. He started proving that there is God. He started doing mitzvot in physical way. He did the Brit Milah. So this connection is a long process. And before the flood was this separation. That's why it was not rainbow. This is one explanation uh, of the Rebbe. How come natural thing did not happen? Because it was a different two worlds. The physical and the, and the spiritual world were totally different. And it was represented with clouds blocking. Okay. Um, after that, we, has, we have the very, very interesting story of Noah, that he becoming drunk. After Noah going from the flood, planting trees of grapes, doing a bit lechaim, and he becoming drunk. This is a little bit proof that he was a Jew. He said lechaim after the flood. But when he, he was naked and Ham and his and grandson, grandson Knan uh, reacted uh, inappropriately, there is explanation what was there, and Shem and Yefet gave him respect, and Noah blessed Shem and cursed Ham and Knan. Knan is a nation of slaves. That's what Noah called them. And Knan, of course, is the great grandfather of native Israelis uh, before, uh, before Jews. Okay. Then we have another very, very, very interesting part of history. The part of Babel, the building of the tower. <coughs> so the Torah introduct intro, introduce this episode that people start to be a bit more advanced they discovered few things that allowed them to be more uh, advanced to create new things they discovered the idea of uh, to build new uh, stones not only to use natural stones I don't know what are the two words in English. If there is, probably there is. But they said, we are so advanced. We are so smart. Let's build a building. And we will make ourselves a name. It's translation of the Torah. We will be famous. We will be important. And um, all the world would, would, would focus in this creation of new things. Actually, when you're thinking about it, that was a new way. First of all, the Torah said that was a bad thing. 
that to us that was bad thing first of all let's say the story it was a bad thing and that that's why god punished them he did not exactly punish them god stopped this process how he stopped that they they their language was mixed they cannot communicate and they start the building of this building okay this tower now they're trying to understand what's going on what was their problem of course they did something against god himself what actually i read this week a very interesting commentary of Rabbi Yonatan Eibeshitz, one of the great Jewish leaders not so long ago, that he said that their plan was to skip gravity, to build such a build tower, skip gravity and go, go to the moon. <laughs> to avoid, avoid the next flood. But... What is the, the, the old and uh, common explanations? They wanted to, or to make stronger heaven that will not go another flood. So to go up, to see what is heaven all about and try to do some things there. Or, or they wanted to make a war with God sitting in heaven. And that was their problem. Or to be in the same level of him. But all those explanations, it's a bit, what's the problem? God was afraid. What was their problem? Many, many generations saw this story as an example how religion and science are against each other. People were become, become more and more advanced. And God said, no, let's. Stop them. But it's not true. Religion is not against science. Jewish religion, of course. Other religions, this name that religion is against science, it's, it's true about other religions that the war between science and, uh, and belief is very big. But Jewish scholars will always, always strong in science until the last generation and until today you cannot be a very big rabbi and said you are allowed to use microwave in shabbat if you did not check what is microwave and what are what is the exact way that microwave operating you cannot you should science and religion are always going together the question is what is the purpose of you what is the use of this science and they, the people of Babel, wanted to use their advancement for God, for against God. That's why it was a problem. But if you're using your knowledge and your, um, I don't know, the world for serving God, so it's the best way, it's the best thing. Okay, by the way, if you're talking about this idea, there is another interesting idea. In the Zohar, about the story of the Zohar learning from one verse in the story of Noah, that in the 600 years, when Noah was 600 years, the flood started. How the flood started, the Torah said, the gates of heaven were opened, like not the gates but the heaven is opened the water came and also the 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 from the world itself came water so the the, the zohar said that in five in in 600 years for the fifth uh for the sixth thousand of creation meaning 200 years back from now, 200 years ago, the gates of heaven will open, the gates of knowledge of heaven, and the gates of knowledge of earth will open. 
he, he, using this analogy of the story of Noah, that's 600 years to the life of Noah, to learn what will be the Zohar was written 2,000 years before. And he said this production, uh, he predict this situation. It's unbelievable to see that 200 years ago in the um, 18th uh, century, the, 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 the world changed totally. The gates of the world of knowledge opened. All the things that we know that we're using until today, I mean, started, even telephone started, and, 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 and cars, and batteries, and medicine, and everything, the world changed. Electricity, trains, and, and everything. This is the gates of knowledge that in the physical world, in the spiritual world, the world of Torah, what happened? The Baal Shem Tov came. The Baal Shem Tov came, and the Alter Rebbe came, and revealed new ideas in Torah. Also changed the map of the world in Torah. So this is what the Zohar said. But the question is, what is the connection between the two? And this is the same idea that we said before. Noah was not able to do what Abraham did. Because he was in a different world. Abraham already was in a different world. The world in the Torah are going together. Deeper ideas in Torah means that you can use more the world. The ideas of Hasidut giving us the power to use the world more. All the ideas of the world actually is a, the preparation, giving us, bringing us closer to the Geula and to understand the Geula. The, the ideas, all the ideas giving us long life and connection between people, connection between two places in the world, connection between uh, uh, you can hear me simultaneously, even you, if you're not speak, uh, sitting uh, behind me, we can see each other. It's all ideas that actually giving us more to understand what is the Geula. This week, a few nights ago, uh, Facebook stopped for a few hours. And it was WhatsApp, Facebook and Instagram, I think. I think something like billion people or more um, couldn't use something that they use a lot. And a lot of communications stopped for a while. Yeah, Me, I, we, I did not spoke with my family and Rishi did not spoke with her family. We spoke only between ourselves. <laughs> Shabbat. Shabbat. But what, what is the interesting part? That what, how it happened, I, I don't know exactly. Someone told me. Someone, a human being, did a mistake. Because of his mistake, one mistake, billion of people of people did not have the same communication that they had before. He he affect life of billion people. This is example that 20 years from uh, back, 10 years back, we couldn't have this example of one effect, one act immediately affecting billion people. Of course, we had some ways. If the president of the uh, United States so says something, so the dollar change and people became, it's not the same. Here in one minute, billion people it teaching us a lot about the importance of every act. It's unbelievable example that we have today and we experience today. This all ideas do reveal to our mind things that people couldn't understand before. And it means that the ideas of Torah becoming more and more um, close to our knowledge as the world becoming more and more advanced. It's going out together. 
This is why the apostles of Torah and the world are going the same. In the time of Babel, the world was not there to have this process. Okay, this is after reviewing the parasha. In the end of the parasha, we coming to Noach, to Abraham, of course. Okay, now there is one idea that um, it's very interesting. Just mention it. One of the orders that God told Noah when building the Teva is to build a Tzohar, as we said. Tzohar from the word Saharai. Probably. From the word Saharai. Why I say probably? Rashi giving two, exam two uh, uh, opinions. What is the explanation? What is that Tzohar? You should make to the Ark Tzohar. And it's one little small commentary on the Torah. Rashi said, some say it's a window. Some say it's a shining stone. Now, why Rashi need to bring two opinions? So, God telling Noah to create to build a Tzohar. He, he should make it Tzohar, sorry, he should make. So if he needs to make it, it means that it's in the ark. It's not something additional to the ark. That's why it's very easy to say it was a window. Because it's in the ark, you should make a window. Okay. So why Rashi need to bring another explanation that um, it was a shining stone? So the answer is very simple. What will be the worth of a win one window in the ark? There was many rooms there. There was three floors. You should make a window. It will not help. I mean, it will help the place that there is the window, the room with the window. And more than that, we just learned that there were a period of time, can be 40 days, can be 150 day, days, that it was total dark outside. Window will not help to have a light. That's why this explanation is very difficult. That's why Rashi need to bring another explanation. It was a, it was a shining stone. But it cannot be the only, the, the, only this explanation because it's not, you should make it so on. You should make, if you should make it, it's supposed to wear a window. There is another explanation that actually are, seems better explanations. There is an explanation that saying so is not from the word Saharaim. Shining stone and a window are connected to light, connected to Tzohorai. There is another explanation, saying it's not Rashi, saying it was not Tzohorai. It's on the word Itzhar, we're saying in Kriyat Shema, Degancha v'tiroshcha v'itzharecha. What is Itzhar? Tirosh, there is in, in Torah other words for wine and, and for uh, oil, not yain and shemen. This is in Hebrew, Yain and Shemen. There is in the Torah, Tirosh. Tirosh, it's wine. It's Har, it's Shemen. So this explanation is saying, God did not tell them to make Tzoha from the word Tzohorayim. Tzoha from the word it's Har. What is it's Har? Oil. You should bring oil to the ark. Why? That you will have light to bring, to have candles. This is another explanation. It's a good explanation. But Rashi not accept this explanation. Because Rashi learned that God, as we said before, not supposed to tell Noah how to build ark. He's not supposed to tell him. Be, you know, you build ark, don't forget to put their light. Of course they will put the, their light. God not told Noah to bring oil. Noah brought oil. And this is the reason why 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 
it was a, 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 enough light there. God told Noah to do Tzohar because God wanted a specific additional light. A light from window. He wanted that the ark would have connection to the outside world. You should not block the, the ark. Why would Noah block the ark? Because Noah knew what's going to happen. I would sit in the window and see the world, uh, uh, I don't know, drowning. Noah did not build windows. Did not want to build windows. So God told him, no, you should build a window. You should build a window because you should have, it doesn't, it's not fair that you will be in the ark separated to the, from the world. And it's more than that. As we said, the ark was the sign that God put in the world for 120 years that he going to do it. And God tell Noah, you build ark, total close, meaning the sign means I'm going and you staying. No, it's not a good sign. You should make ark with windows. Means, you know, depends on you. It can be that I'm building a ark that means that you're going to be destroyed or i'm building here an ark that's going to be a cruise for estonia depends for you depends on you if you're doing chuva it's going to be a cruise we will have fun but if you're not doing chuva it's going to be the ark of noah and this is the meaning of the stone of the of the of the window a deeper explanation, of course. But this is just a, a taste from the many explanations that we can see about uh, why Rashi bring two explanations. Not because it's just fun. Because there is a, a lack in any explanation. You know, there, it's a system that there is in Rashi. When sometimes we're looking for a house. What we want, we want that it will be close to synagogue and we want that price will be low. But we cannot find a house that it's two meters from synagogue and low price. So we, how will you say it? We're finding something in between. Half a price and 15 minutes walk. So this is what Rashi is doing sometimes. He's bringing a few explanations. This explanation is, is good in half of the things. And this explanation is good in the half of the things. So... Um, this is example from this Rashi. Okay. I just finished with one idea of the Baal Shem Tov. Teiva, the Baal Shem Tov, explaining that Teiva is word. In Hebrew, Teivot, it's uh, words also. And when God telling Noah, Boel Teva, go inside the words. And this will save you from the water. Sometimes we feel that we're drowning in water. The water represents the world, living. The life outside is, is, is making us drowning. We feel we need a bit to breathe. So God saying, no, to, to, telling each and every one of us, go to the teva. Go to the words. Open the books. You will feel sometimes that you just have something to breathe from the words of the Torah and the prayer. But as we said, we should have a window. We cannot be in block teva, close teva. It's not a good idea. We should have a window because when you have a light inside you, when you're breathing, you should share it. Share it with more people. You should have a window. Thank you very much and uh, Shabbat Shalom.